Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to composite animation in iMovie. And we're going to create this composite having rendered some frames that you've done in some other program, whatever other program you've done it. And so we don't have a compositor and we will render the, the individual frames out in whatever program we have. And composite here, add sound. We're going to add music track, some sound effects, and it'll bounce sound effect. So it's got music, it's got the music track, and then it's got some birds uh, chirping in the background, and then a uh, bounce sound effect. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new project. Go to my projects window. Uh, here's that one I was looking at. Uh, I'm gonna hit create new. And then we're gonna select movie, combine videos, photos and music to make your own movie. And that's exactly what we are going to do. We're going to combine frames from a uh, drawing program. We're going to combine music and sound effects. So there's a new project. One thing I'd like to do is before we import anything is change your preferences. If you go to iMovie preferences, we're going to change this photo duration. I think by default it's set to 10 seconds. That means every photo that you bring in will last 10 seconds on the timeline. And that's not what we want. Since this is an animation, we want the lowest it can go. Um, and I believe the lowest is one tenth of a second. That means that every photo or frame that you bring in will be one tenth of a second. That's 10 frames per second. Uh, and so now that we've changed that, we're gonna import the media and there's two ways to import the media or the frames. Simply by going file and import, import media. Uh, I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm going to import the three audio files that I have. I'm just gonna import this one, this one, and this one. Import selected. And they'll be in the media folder. Another way to import is if you go to the, the uh, folder on your desktop and then just drag the media onto your media folder. And those are the two ways you can import. Just drag them onto the folder and or go to file and import media. Once you have it, uh, you can grab all your frames Click on this one, shift click on the last one. Here, I'll do it again. Click on that one, hold down the shift, and then click on this one. And then you can drag them onto the timeline. And just drop them onto the timeline. If I hit the space bar to play, or you can hit the play button here, it will play the animation once. It's just an animation of a bouncing ball. Here's all my frames. Now, the way I got these frames, is not by using any type of animation software. On the contrary, I went to this website, sketchpad.app, and I drew this animation, and it's not at all an animation software. It's a drawing software. It's a free app online. Uh, you can go to sketchpad.app, and you can start drawing. So what I did is I drew a couple shapes, I pasted some clip art with the sun in the clouds, and then I drew a uh, ball, and then I created some layers. So in each layer, I'm gonna turn all of the layers on. Each layer represent a specific frame for that animation. And all I did is I exported one at a time. For example, this is frame one. Actually, without the ball is frame one. This would be frame two. And all I did was um, export here and export download a JPEG. That's all I did. And so I, I just went through all of the frames, turned that one off, turned this one on, export frame two that one on and that one and then this is would be frame three frame four frame five frame six frame seven eight nine and so on and so on until um the ball is out of the out of the way so 
even if you're drawing these by hand on paper, you could still do this. Just take a picture on your phone and upload each frame onto iMovie. Let's go back to iMovie and then just import them along with the audio, put them on the timeline. Each frame is one drawing. And so we're compositing this animation from a drawing program. This could be Fire Alpaca or Procreate or whatever, any drawing program. You could draw each frame out, bring it into iMovie and then composite here. This is Some music I just dragged it placed it right at the beginning of the of the um, animation I'm gonna hit play and then right here at the end I'm gonna put my playhead right here at the end right click on that playhead and then oops this has to be selected right click make sure that the playhead is right there right click split clip and then this, whatever is left over, select it and then hit the delete key. This is another sound effect of birds chirping. I'm going to lay it on there. Same deal. Make sure that the play hit is right there. Right click, split clip, and then select this one and delete it. Uh, and then the last sound effect is the, the little bouncing ball. And so I'm going to place that right when it hits the uh, this frame, when it hits the ground, it should make that sound. I, and I placed it one frame ahead because the, I could trim it to there and then that would be, that would make sense. So if we listen to the everything, so, so the, the music is a little loud, and if we place, there's a little black line in the middle. If we place our cursor right on it, we could lower the sound, the volume, and then maybe bring this one up a little. And then this one up. And so, let's play it again. Hit the space bar to play. So this one might be a little too exaggerated. Maybe to about 126. And that really is, that's all there is to it. You could adjust the time to any one of these frames if you wished. It, let's say that I wanted to pause here at the very end. Well, I can lengthen this clip to three seconds while I need to lengthen also, readjust this clip right there and this one so now it's going to have a pause when it hits the ground and you can see that it just pauses there for a couple seconds and then goes on so you can adjust even when you bring in the frames onto the timeline you can adjust the timing. Uh, the only thing is you can't make it go faster. The 0.1 seconds is the fastest it'll go, but you can make it stay there a little bit longer. And, and that's all there is to it. The last thing is obviously to save the file, uh, but now we want to export the movie. So we go to share and then we get to file. You want to sh share the file, make sure you name it. I'll just call it bouncing ball. And then hit next. Now, where do you want it on the desktop? Hit save. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to hide iMovie. And I'm going to hide uh, Chrome. And here it is on my desktop. I'm going, I'm going to open it up in QuickTime and it's exactly an animation. It's got that little pause right when it hits the ground. Mm -hmm. 
and that's all there is thank you for watching guys uh if you like it uh, leave me a comment thank you